to the extent possible, don't travel, don't congregate together. I don't think we'd ever should ever shake hands ever again. I think the idea of taking masks off in my mind is, is really not something we should even be considering. It is, as we've said, a pandemic and an outbreak of the unvaccinated. If you are trying to, do, you know, get at me as a public health official and a scientist, you're really attacking not only Dr. Anthony Fauci, you're attacking science. Exactly, because he is science. A look back at Dr. Anthony Fauci's follies, his greatest hits, so to speak, as the nation's top doc gives his final White House press briefing before retirement. And then he'd probably do something in the private sector to make him even more money. Fox News medical contributor Dr. Marty McCary joins us now. Uh, doctor, great to see you. Your thoughts on Fauci's legacy and leadership through the pandemic. Good morning, Brian. Well, Dr. Fauci, instead of waiting for the science, should have been doing that research himself. His very primary job is to fund research or conduct it himself. So when the entire country was told for months to wash their hands like crazy, he could have done that experiment in 24 hours himself to establish that it was airborne. And the list goes on and on of subjects like that. School masking, the dosing separation of the vaccine, that interval should have been closer to three months, not three weeks. That head-to-head -head study was never done. So many kids got myocarditis that didn't need to get it. And the risk of COVID in healthy kids was never studied by his agency. So on and on the list goes of areas where they could have done the research and instead he was waiting for the research. Right. And never backtracked and said, you know, we got bad information. What I was telling you last month, it was a, it was a problem. Let me tell you what's go, what I know now. Instead, he just moved on as if we would have short term memory loss and didn't realize that he made us wear masks outside when you could not get it from somebody outside. He did not admit that telling 13 year olds to play sports with a mask on would be a problem and ridiculous and counterproductive. He was telling us last Christmas not to get together again. Well, is that out of his lane? Well, even worse is the idea that if you had a different opinion, that you were misinformation. And we heard that again yesterday in Dr. Fauci's press conference, even criticizing media outlets that broadcast different opinions. Now, look, well, I'm not an anti-vaxxer, but there, show me the risk in healthy kids of COVID, and then we can have a conversation if we know the risk of the vaccine. Dr. Fauci and Burks and all of them are HIV researchers. That's where they come from. Walensky, all of them are HIV researchers, and they bring their body in HIV, there is no natural immunity. And in HIV, they said over and over again, everyone is at equal risk. That's not the case with COVID. Right. Uh, also, I think it's important to point out, too, that uh, they said this is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. This guy had four shots and he had therapeutics and he got it again. He took the therapeutic and then got it again. So instead of making that a learning moment, he wanted it just to go away. In the big picture, too, 1918, they said six feet apart. All of a sudden, we're six feet apart, which means you can't st staff a classroom. Then it turns out the six feet apart, I kind of made that up. It was really based in something from our first pandemic 100 years ago. You know, people want humility in a doctor. Sometimes the right answer is, I don't know. Or do that research yourself quickly with your entire $45 billion that you have at the NIH. And, you know, he's got a nice demeanor. He's a gentleman. I think he's done some good work in warning seniors about the risk of COVID. But insisting on firing pilots and truck drivers and soldiers, that is not a meager position. That was arrogance. And now we've learned that was counterproductive. Dr. McCary, have you, do you, have you shaken hands since Dr. Fauci told you not to? <laughs> Look, I'm living my life. I feel good about my risk profile and the primary vaccine series that I've gotten. I'm not convinced that a booster is necessary for me. So I'm living my life, Brian. Right. Uh, it's OK for him to see a Black Lives Matter protest, but you can't go to a giant jet game. So Look, none of the doctors are wearing masks at their conferences. I can tell you that. Thank you. Uh, you've always been consistent. Thanks so much, Dr. McCary. Always great. Thanks, Brian.